Commissioner of Australia and Sri Lanka. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, good evening and a warm welcome. And uh, to the ladies and gentlemen of the media, thank you for making it. We know that uh, you have a busy schedule. Thank you for being with us today. As uh, Senate is going truly international, as, uh, as they say, they're going to make it happen today. Joining, uh, well, with the Melbourne Stars. As uh, you all know, the KFC Big Bash is coming up in Australia, in the land down under. And uh, that is indeed why we have uh, the folks from uh, both sides of uh, this agreement joining us today. And uh, well, let me give you a little bit of background on Senate. Well, Senate Software International is a leading IT and HR business solutions development company in Sri Lanka at the moment. And it's a truly global company which operates in over 24 countries and across 18 industries. When it commenced business in 1997, ladies and gentlemen, it mainly focused on countries as the United States, Singapore, Australia, India, Africa, and Sri Lanka. We're a truly world-class organization which strives to achieve world-class peace. And, uh, well, Senin has taken Sri Lankan IT talent and capability to international markets, competing head-to-head -head with global giants. And today, it's joining in with cricket. When we talk about cricket in Sri Lanka, we say it's in the blood. And I'm pretty sure Australia would say the same thing. So, um, we do, and to start off with the lighting of the traditional oil lamp. Um, to light the traditional oil lamp, I'd like to call upon Her Excellency Robin Moody, the Australian Road, uh, Director and General Manager, Senate Business Solutions. the significance and success of being plural. Uh, Dinesh Sapanamadu, he's a founder and chief executive officer of Sunny Group of Companies. And Dinesh has over 25 years of experience in the IT and related technology industries. And he is a serial entrepreneur, having founded more than six companies over the last two decades. And he also sets the vision and strategy for new business ventures for Senid. And he's also, the res also responsible, rather, for coaching and developing the management team and uh, setting direction for the company for international expansions. 
Well, the nation's founding member and past chairman of Sri Lanka Association of Software Services Companies, uh, called Slascom, and he's also a founding member of Software Exporters Association, the C or the SEA, and Mobile Monday Colombo Momo, and he served as a member of the American Chamber of Commerce for two years, and he currently serves on many advisory boards of public and private sector. Let's hear from him, ladies and gentlemen. Clint Cooper, CEO of Melbourne Stars, members of the Australian High Commission, Austrade, members of the press and media, and friends of Senate. Welcome to Senate Melbourne Star launch in Colombo. It is a great moment for Senate. We will announce two great partnerships today, which I think is the first for a Sri Lankan company. The partnership and association with Melbourne Stars is truly a great one. It is first of a kind for a Sri Lankan company. Melbourne Star is a part of the Big Bash Cricket League in Australia, organized by Cricket Australia. Sports is a great way to build a brand. Cricket is our passion, and this is a great opportunity for us. As a fast-growing company, Senate decided that we want to be part of this great moment. This partnership will further enhance our presence in Australia. Australia is a key market for us. We have been investing in Australia for the last 18 months, and we hope this partnership will enhance our brand and our presence in Australian market. Senate People's HR will be an official partner and an HR solutions provider for Melbourne Stars, and we are truly happy about it. Now to the second announcement, I'm sure which will delight our audience today. So let's hear about it. <laughs> The link between Melbourne Stars and Sri Lanka is our own simple, fast, and green. Lasit Malinga. We are very proud to be Senate, People's HR, and Melbourne Stars. And Lasit will be playing this summer in Australia. And we wish him all the best for a great summer. Again, ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big <laughs> At a time, Senate celebrate 15 years. This is another significant moment for us to do this partnership with Melbourne Stars and make Lasit to be the ambassador in Australia for Sri Lanka. And I am truly happy and very grateful to the Australian High Commission, Austrade, and uh, Cricket Victoria, and Melbourne Stars for giving this opportunity. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dinesh. And uh, for a couple of seconds, I thought we lost Lasit in the smoke. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, while welcoming him also. Um, I'd like to introduce to you, uh, well, for, well, we have for the Melbourne Stars with us, uh, Clint uh, Cooper, not Eastwood. Uh, we have Clint Cooper, who is uh, the inaugural CEO of the Melbourne Stars. Clint is a chartered accountant who possesses a strong business background and broad knowledge of the cricket landscape. 
He joined Cricket Victoria in 2006 as general manager of business and subsequently became the general manager of commercial operations in 2009. And during his five years at Cricket Victoria, he oversaw the organization rebrand and first major sponsorship emanating Victoria's successful bid for two 2020 franchise licenses prior to employment at CV. Uh, Clint held finance positions at KPMG and Freeman's, which have their presence in Sri Lanka as well. So it's time to call on Clint, uh, Clint uh, Cooper to say a few words on this occasion. Hi, Commissioner. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's an absolute pleasure to be here today to announce this landmark partnership between the Melbourne Stars and Senate People's HR. Firstly, to Dinesh. Um, and his fellow board directors, I would personally like to thank you on behalf of the Melbourne Stars Board for your uh, willingness to partner with the Melbourne Stars this year. I would also like to acknowledge the work of Mr David Samuel from Austrade, the Business Agency for Australia, who facilitated the initial introduction between our two respective organisations. We are very proud to be the first Australian T20 team to enter into a partnership beyond our shores and especially with such a quality organisation as Senate. The Melbourne Stars is one of the newest T20 cricket teams in the world, having the Melbourne Cricket Ground as its home and a playing list comprising of the great Shane Warne, T20 stars of David Hussey, Cam White, Brad Hodge, and now complemented by one of the most preeminent bowlers in T20 world cricket, Lasith Malinga. We are generally looking forward to this partnership with Senate and helping them achieve their business aspirations in Australia, as well as their long-term sustainable partnership between our respective organisations. For us, this partnership is deeper than a traditional sports sponsorship, with the hope being that through our respective countries' love of cricket, we can foster further business development bet between Sri Lanka and Australia. This partnership sets us apart from the rest of, the, rest of our competitors in, in Australia, enabling us to set new standards, and new standards for within Australia, but also around the, the globe generally. Finally, I hope that all Sri Lankans get behind this great Sri Lankan business, their homegrown hero, Lasith Malinga, and adopt the Melbourne Stars as their favourite Australian T20 team this summer. Thank you very much. want to make. They'll be here right throughout as you join us now for cocktails. And uh, well, it is your responsibility now, ladies and gentlemen of the media, to take this to the masses as to what the Sri Lankan company has done in terms of cricket and taking it international. Lind and Dinesh will be all yours uh, for the next uh, two or three hours. Thank you very much. <laughs>
How do you think that this partnership will contribute to Melbourne Stars? Oh, it's a very exciting partnership. We're looking so much so forward to partnering with Senate because we think that the Melbourne Stars needs to ex expand its brand. We're hoping that the partnership of such a quality organisation as Senate, marrying with a quality organisation as the Melbourne Stars, will actually help build the profile of both organisations, both here in Sri Lanka, but also equally for Senate back in Australia, where we hope to build the connection with Australian businesses. Will this partnership build a big franchise, especially in a cricket crazy country like Sri Lanka? One, one can hope so. We're, we're really hoping that with the appointment of Lasith Malinga as our marquee player into the team, and also to have um, a, a, a Sri Lankan organisation that Sri Lankans, particularly in Australia, can, can relate to, and Lasith, that we can share across both boundaries and grow the fan base of the Melbourne Stars. I would love to have as many Sri Lankan fans, members, supporters, that just like Man Manchester United has fans all across the world, I'd love to have the Melbourne Stars with fans all across the world. Uh, do you think this partnership will increase the popularity of the Big Bash? Uh, as a tournament uh, with international viewership? Yeah, I think the, the Big Bash is just scraping the surface. So I think in terms of quality of players that are coming down to play in Australia during the summer period is extraordinary. Um, we're very fortunate to have someone like Lasith, but we also, Shane Warne came out of retirement again, Brad Hodge, David Hussey, Cameron White, worldwide known cricketers that will hopefully add to the exposure of the tournament and international following for the tournament because I think 2020 in its current form is going to be the sustainable product in the future. What can you say about Senate as an HR uh, software provider? My dealings with Senate introduced through Austrade who are a fantastic agency working on behalf of Australian organisations to promote cross um, promotion of businesses. Senate came to, we, we met Senate through Austrade and to say that they are an ultra professional organisation is probably an understatement. We've been so impressed with them. They have the same similar morals and values as we do to be leaders, to be thought leaders and really to lead, lead from the front on the field, off the field is what we do and that's what Hate Centres is doing within their business and to, to demonstrate a Sri Lankan business breaking into Australia and, and really trying to firm a position there is terrific. Finally, Clint, uh, can we expect Melbourne Stars to sign, uh, sign Sri Lankan cricketers in the future? Oh, I'd love to. There's quite a few Sri Lankan cricketers I'd love to sign, but unfortunately we only signed two international players at any one time. So the young man over there got the first call up, so if he doesn't improve himself over the first two-year period, we might have to find another one to replace him. But I'm very confident in, in the seat and his, his ability and uh, he will really be a superstar in Australia and we hope that that actually promotes more, more Sri Lankan cricketers to want to come out to Australia, even at local levels, to try out the conditions and see whether they can't match it on Australian conditions. Thank you so much, Clint. No problems, thanks. Have a nice day in Sri Lanka. Yeah, the partnership with Melbourne Stars, I think, itself is one of the first time a Sri Lankan company has done that. And reason for us to do it is we see that the, if our ability to enhance our brand and our brand presence in Australia will be really a key factor for us to decide to have to go into this partnership with Melbourne Stars. What is the motive behind this partnership and how will this partnership drive Senate and People's HR? Yeah. So People's HR is the new block in town. So for us, the our clear, clear idea is to how do we bring the People's HR and the Senate brand to the Australian market. So People's HR is a cloud-based HR system which allows you to run your business without an ability 
without having your on-premise systems. So people are is cloud-based, so that we can actually access the system from anywhere at any place. So for us into the Australian market is that we see that that is the, the right fit. And you know, being able to bring the people's HR brand to Australia will help us to grow, grow the Australian business for us. Is this a short-term or a long-term partnership? Yeah, this is a very long-term partnership. What we want to do is to really build our brand presence with Melbourne Stars, also associating ourselves with Melbourne and the, and the Melbourne Stars, and we will really build it into the next level in the coming years. This partnership also made to display financial strength and organizational stability for Senate as a premier HR solution. So HR is a premier HR solution in uh, Sri Lanka as well as in Asia Pacific, uh, Africa and India. So this partnership will help us to grow our business in Australia and also to strengthen our business in Australia. What future partnerships can we expect from Senate? Yeah, so for us, I think this is this is the first, and we will see how we can actually build it further, and then really see, I think Melbourne Stars is our first, and we hope that this partnership will need to grow to bigger uh, things in years to come. Will this type of partnership be formed in other markets uh, as well? We will, we will explore the other markets, we will see what are the other markets that will help us and then we will actually take it this to other markets if that we feel that you know, that's going to be uh, fruitful for Senate and People's HR. So People's HR is a cloud-based HR system that, we, that provides HR on the cloud that allows people to run their HR applications from the cloud. What that means is that you don't need to have your own um, system inside your own organization. It is a cloud-based system so that you can access it anytime, anywhere. So People's HR will bring the organizational capability to any of the medium to large size organizations. Uh, it, People's HR has both strategic HR, administrative HR, and business intelligence. So People's HR will be the new HR system that will bring to medium to large size companies. Employee engagement is very important for an organization. How do you increase your employee engagement? We feel that having sports sponsorship increases employee engagement. Sports sponsorships helps the organization to be able to align themselves with the organization that they have similar values. So our sports sponsorship with Melbourne Stars will definitely help uh, employee engagement for us as well as this will be a start for a lot of the organizations to see how they can align themselves and go to the next level. Thank you. More is effectiveness. Senate, 15 years of empowering more.